Then there are the twilight zones of the deep ocean, where camouflage is not just about color, but manipulating light itself. Some octopuses absorb light to appear pitch black. Others use bioluminescence to break up their silhouette. The magic of the octopus's transformation lies within its remarkable skin, a living canvas controlled with astonishing precision. The primary tools for this artistry are specialized cells called chromatophores. Black, brown, red, yellow. These sacs are surrounded by minuscule muscles directly connected to the octopus's brain. When the muscles contract, they pull the sac open, stretching pigment into a wide, flat disc that makes the color visible. This simple mechanism, repeated millions of times across the skin, allows for instantaneous and complex changes in color. What makes this system truly extraordinary is the speed and control with which it operates. Beneath the chromatophores lie two other types of cells that add depth and complexity to the disguise. Iridophores are like tiny, stacked mirrors. They reflect ambient light. Leucophores form a base layer that reflects broad-spectrum light, like a painter priming a canvas. The muscles controlling chromatophores are wired directly to the octopus's large, sophisticated brain. A change in appearance is not a slow hormonal reaction, but a neural one, as fast as a thought. By contracting specialized muscles in its skin, it can create bumps, spikes, ridges, transforming smooth body into a jagged surface. It can mimic a coral head, a mossy rock, a clump of seaweed, sculpting itself into the world. Witnessing an octopus deploy its camouflage is to see the impossible happen. Imagine a diver exploring a coral garden, admiring a particularly vibrant piece of brain coral. A section of the coral suddenly detaches itself, smooths its surface, and jets away, revealing itself to be a common octopus.